Hey guys, in this Swift Program Logic tutorial or uh, iOS development tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to trace a problem to the root of a problem. <laughs> so basically, there's a feature in Xcode which allows you to do this, and I'll be showing you guys an example and how to use it. So I'm just going to be calling find problem root, as this basically finds the root of a problem so you can uh, fix the code and something like that. So first thing I need to do is I need to create um, a kind of path so that there's actually a path. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function and I'm just going to call this convert string to int. And I'm going to pass in a string and it will return an int. Okay, so here we'll just return int string and we'll force unwrap it so that it crashes when we do a wrong one. So obviously um, if I just print convert string to in and then I give an actual number, if I just give one, this is going to work perfectly and nothing bad's gonna happen. So we'll just test this out first. Okay and yeah you can see it prints out one as an int. But now let's say I uh, give an A and A can't be converted to an int, so it's going to crash here. Now, I'll show you guys how to detect the issue. So, you'll see it crashes here, and it will also bring up this screen. So, this is the, uh, I don't know what it's called, but, oh, Debug Navigator. And this brings it up here, and basically, what we want to be looking at is here. So, we can see we can go through this, and it's just going to help us identify it. So this would be a lot more useful if this was on a different page so let me try and recreate this for you so I'm going to create a new file I'm going to make it a Swift file let's just call it functions.swift and now we will just put this function inside of here and let's try this again so now we're just using this function from a different page you can see it's broken and you can see it takes us straight to this um, that's obviously gonna happen <laughs> why did I even think that was not gonna happen but yeah you can see that this can be really useful if you want to trace a problem so you can see that uh, this has gone from here then it goes into here I uh, just cut it but it went from here so this was where it started and then it went here and you can see this is where the problem is so if you wanted to fix this you could just make this an optional by doing that but we'll leave it like this for a few more examples so I'll try and create one more big example uh, let me just delete this and we'll remove it to trash so let me try and make this bigger so what I'm gonna do is I'm kinda make a function chain so let's try and do this so uh, func um, let's just call this pass uh, pass string one and it's gonna take in a string and it's gonna output a string that's all it's gonna do we're just trying to create a function train but I'm just trying to simulate what would actually happen in a project so now let's say what we do is if we pass string here uh, pass string and then we'll make the string a just so let's just say this is the first function it goes to to do something with a data now the next function what it's gonna do is it's actually not going to return this if I just cancel that instead what it's going to do is if I do a new func process string and we'll take in a string and instead of returning this I'm just going to start this new function by processing string and then in this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the string into an int so convert string to int and then uh, let's just say I don't know uh, we'll just have the string and then I know it's unused for now but I'm just trying to create a simulation so now what it's going to do this here goes into this which goes into this which goes here and you can see first it shows the error there then here it shows you goes here then here then here so you can see the path of the uh, string from first it's here then it's here, then it goes here, and then it goes here. So this is useful for, you know, you could just go along this path and see where the errors are and then fix them along the way. 
So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye!